I'm Ty Wilkinson, Brick Builder 7 on Flickr, and this is the Battle of Antietam in the American Civil War. So basically, this was the first time that the Confederate Army had reached Union territory, and um, it w it's the single most bloody day in American military history, with a little over 23,000 casualties for both Union and Confederate troops. So basically, what is depicted here is the Battle of Bloody Lane, which was early in the morning, the Confederates and the Union were battling in a cornfield similar to this here, which uh, is kind of why I included this. It was just kind of a, a little bit of a, just like a homage to that. And then later in the day, they were both moving troops and kind of got stuck just in this little farmer's road and eventually it be it became one of the larger battles within the whole battle of the Battle of Antietam and so uh, there are over 5,000 casualties just in this part of the battle alone. This year I did not plan <laughs> very well. I I actually transported it just like this in one piece, obviously with none of the minifigures, but um, yeah, all of the vegetation, all of the fences, everything, it was just in the one piece in the back of my car. Um, it made it in one piece, but I definitely suggest breaking up your mock into several pieces when transporting. My favorite technique is probably the trees how they're they're angled so instead of there there are the smaller ones they're just kind of the uh, one by one cylinders with the uh, tree pieces on them but then all of the larger trees I used hinge plates to angle the leaves to give it more of a realistic effect which I think it it adds a lot more to the mock the leaves are they're not Lego leaves, they're alt bricks, which when building large mocks, it's very helpful to get large quantities of them.